You're saying that humans don't like dirt? It's strange to us monsters, but no, they do not like dirt. That's weird. Do they like mud? Nope. Dust? No. That fuzzy stuff that comes out of your belly button? Uh, no, Deuce, but uh, nobody likes that. The important takeaway here is that humans do not like to be dirty. Just one of the many facts you'll be quizzed on during tomorrow's big humanology test. Uh. What? Don't, oh, me? As long as you've been reading your humanology textbook, you'll be fine. Gee, we sure covered a lot about humans this semester. You think the Ghoul Squad is up for this mission? Bring it on, Test! Bring on everything you've got! Okay, easy on the electrodes, ghoul friend. We talked about this. Any idea what's eating Gob? Mm. I think the more appropriate question is, what is Gob eating? Oh yeah, uh, Gob hasn't read a single page of the humanology book this semester. Poor guy is so not ready for the big test tomorrow. <laughs> Does someone need to show him that's not how books work? Oh, hey, Angelica. Are you ready for your very first ghoul's night? It's going to be fang -arific. You mean fantastic? Uh, I mean fantastic! Since Fangelica spent all those years alone in her family's castle, she's never had a proper ghoul's night before. So tonight, Draculata is going to show me how it's done. Well, you're in good course, Fangelica. Nobody throws a ghoul's night like Draculaura. Some monsters paint, others make music. I encourage ghoul friends to stay up past their bedtimes. <laughs> See you tonight! Okay, let's see. Popcorn is popping. Playlist is playlisting. Uh, how are those favors coming, Webby? Draculaura! How can you possibly study with that music so loud? What is all this? I was, uh, kinda, sorta, maybe, possibly going to have Fangelica over for a ghoul's night. Maybe? Oh, well, I was kind of, sort of, maybe, possibly going to tell you that you have a big test tomorrow. So no friends over tonight. Uh, but, Dad, I studied all day. I'm ready for the test. And this ghoul's night is really important to Fangelica. I don't want to cancel. As your father and your teacher, I cannot allow you to stay up late with friends tonight. What if Fangelica and I study together? Then can she come over? Please. All right. But only for study. No movies, no music, and no... whatever that is Webby's making. <coughs> Remember, study, study, study. Study. <laughs> huh. Check our eye coffins to see if any of our faves celebs have posted in the last eight minutes. Draculaura! Gob ran away from school and we don't know where he went. Are you sure? Yeah, Ugh. I'm sure. We need the monster map -log to find him and bring him back. Oh, sorry, Fangelica. Looks like we're going to have to cut tonight a little short. No, no, no. We've got this, Draculaura. There's no way we're letting you cancel your ghoul's night. You mean our study night, in which we study? Right. Anyway, don't worry about us. The ghoul squad is on the case. Yeah, it's just Gob. How much trouble could he possibly cause? Gob, exto monstrum. Oh, my ghoul, we're in a store for humans. Oh, my ghoul, look at the sale prices. What? Somebody has to be the positive one. Looks like the store is closed, so there won't be any humans to worry about for a few hours. All right, Ghoul Squad. Let's spread out and look for clues. Whoop. I found a clue. <gasps> hey, 
Gob. <laughs> Everything's going to be okay. I know you're stressed, but we're going to teleport you back to Monster High. And help you study for the human test. Oh, oh the map log So, are we good? Did we save the day and all that? Now you try. Uh oh. Ha ha! Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> oh, oh! Come on, Gobby. This is for your own good. <laughs> the map log back. Crikey, look at all this mess. The humans are not gonna like this. Remember what Mr. Dracula said? Humans hate dirt. Oh, what was that? I just had a really good idea. Well, next time, how about having a so-so idea? The really good ones hurt. All right, Gob. It's okay that you're not ready for the test tomorrow. Because the Ghoul Squad is going to give you a crash course on humanology. This is a back scratcher, because humans are itchy and have no claws. This is a phone. It's kind of like an eye coffin, but not nearly as cool. And this hideous thing is called a neckerchief. Ah! Ah! I know, I find them equally terrifying. Gob isn't afraid of the humanology test. It was the mannequin. He's afraid of humans. That's why he hasn't done any of the reading or homework. There has to be some way to help Gob get over his fear. Hmm. You're sure it's not the neckerchief? Look at this thing. It's just awful. <laughs> okay, Vangelica. Truth or scare? Oh, um... Truth. You are not studying. You are playing. <laughs> Draculora, I thought I made myself clear. Tomorrow's test is very important. I know, Dad, it is. But this is important, too. Hilarious hats? No, I mean, we're spending time with other monsters. This is the one place in the whole entire world where I can stay up late with a girlfriend. That's just like me. <laughs> Dad, are you okay? What? Yes, I'm fine. It's nothing. Hey, Dad. Truth or scare? Truth or scare? You want me to pick? Huh, I'm not sure. I never played before. I guess I'll take scare. <laughs> oh, good one. <laughs> yes, Dad. Oh, so fun. I feel like a 1,300-year-old again. <laughs> There. Perfect. You're going to blend right in with the human's gob. The best way to get over a fear is to face it head on. So you're going to get out there and do something with the humans. Here, <gasps> go buy some socks. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> <laughs> all right! Now all you gotta do is read the book. 
Whoa! The ooze no longer has the blues. You ready for this human test, Gob? You kidding? Gob has been a human. He can handle a little test, no problem. Good morning, students, and goodbye, humanology test. <laughs> I had so much fun last night, I'm just not in a test giving mood. <laughs> Voltageous. Let's add it to the playlist. I can't thank you ghouls enough for helping Frankie and me with our mad science project. Venus and I are finally going to discover once and for all if monster plants respond to different kinds of music. And I'm finally going to discover whether my good side is on the left or the right. Ah, <sighs> science. Huh, this is interesting. My selfie science? No, I mean, I was searching for some music and found this story about some kind of... Musical ghost. The Phantom of the Caverns. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we just found our next lost monster. Good luck, ghouls. Venus and I have some sciencing to do. See you when you get back. Oh, um, Torelai, you're standing in our way. <laughs> well, if it isn't the Ghoul Squad. That's Ghoul Squad. Oh, wait, that's what you said, isn't it? Never mind! Tarali, can we just get by, please? Not if you're here for another one of those rescue missions. Quit bringing you monsters to the school. We already have a me. We don't need any more. What are you doing in the library anyway? What? I happen to love books. Can't a weird cat enrich her curious mind? I released a zombie hamster in the creepetaria, and Mr. Dracula gave me a week of library duty. Don't a lie? Yes, Mr. Dracula. Oh, Dad, did you get my text about the phantom? I did, and it's a fascinating ghost story. It started when some humans investigating ancient ruins began to hear mysterious music coming from a nearby cave system. And uh, don't a lie! What? Oh, follow the music, and you'll find your phantom. Oh my gosh, I didn't learn so much! Ah, oh, look at me. I'm Mr. Dracula. <laughs> hey, what's this? Phantom Cavernous Musicales, Exto Monster. Exto, wait a second! I want to go with you on that mission thingy. Okay, Torlai has completely lost it. Torlai, put your arms above your head and take deep breaths. I'm serious. I've been doing some soul searching and realized that maybe you girls are onto something helping lost monsters. Really? You told us not to go looking for lost monsters like seven minutes ago. I'm a fast soul searcher. I say she can come with us. You sure about that, ghoul friend? Seeing the ghoul squad in action might do Torelai some good. Besides, everyone's entitled to a second chance. Or, you know, a 481st chance. Come on, Torelai, you're in. Classum! <laughs> Phantom Cavernous Musicalis, Exto Monstrum! <laughs> Is it moving? No, it's not moving. Are you sure? It looks like it's moving. Oh, it's not moving. We're almost out of music. Come on, buddy, give us something. Frankie, is my head moving? Nope. Is mine? Nuh uh. Which means. That, that planet, planet is rocking out! out! This is fantastic! Oh, let's see what other music it likes. Oh, okay, okay. Or we could listen to this a little longer. Hey, I can hear music. It's this one, definitely. Follow the music and we find our phantom.
Which way do we go, Claudine? It's hard to pinpoint the sound. I think the music is coming from... That way. Great. You ghouls go that way. I'll go check out this other tunnel. But Claudine says she hears music coming from that way. Um, I actually hear music coming from this tunnel. You ghouls don't hear it? Um, uh, listen. <laughs> Come on, Torrelai. The ghoul squad is sticking together. Ugh, fine. I don't get it. This is where the music is the loudest, but it's a dead end. Now what do we do? to be true. <laughs> yeah, I do believe I had a hand in those ghost stories. When I heard some humans poking around out there, I started playing my music extra loud to give them a little fright. That's pretty clever, Operetta. <laughs> well, I had to do something to keep them out of these caverns, on account of all the diamonds. Wait, diamonds? Where? Where diamonds? You're telling me you made it all the way through these caverns without looking down? We've been walking on diamonds this whole time? These caves used to belong to an ancient civilization and stored all their treasures in here. The diamonds don't mean much to me, but listen to those acoustics. Oh, I always wanted to make a diamond angel. Dreams do come true. Well, help yourselves. Take a few diamonds for the road if you like. But whatever you do, do not touch the Great Diamond. The Great Diamond? Who took the Great Diamond? What? I didn't take it. Okay, I took those diamonds, but I didn't take the Great... Okay, I took the Great Diamond. You knew these caves were filled with diamonds. That's why you wanted to come with us. I may have seen something about something on the computer thing. We've got to get to getting out of here while we have the chance. There are dire consequences for anybody that takes that diamond. What kind of dire consequences? Big, rumbling, rock-falling consequences. Draculaura, quick! We can teleport with the Mephalog. Monster High, it's the monster. It's not Exto Monster Ming. Maybe we're too far underground for it to work. Don't know much about teleporting, but I do know every nook and cranny of these caverns like the back of my banjo. Follow me! I don't know. Well, we can't go back that way, so... <laughs> oh, I know. 
how much you ghouls love a wild adventure, and you definitely got one. So, you're welcome? Uh, okay, H how about I split some of the diamonds with you? No? Okay, more diamonds for me then. <gasps> well, ghouls, looks like I'm in need of a new place to call home. Oh, then it's a good thing we're here to tell you about a place called Monster High. you to keep playing.